Well, I'm a theoretical astrophysicist and I study cosmology, the origin and the evolution of the universe. Um, and we're living in a very exciting time where we are pushing the boundaries back in time to what we can directly observe in order to guide the observers and predict what they will see and interpret it to learn about the uh, origin and evolution of the universe as we can see clues at that period. Uh, we have to do gigantic simulations with the supercomputers that we have to model it. So my thing in the uh, simulations using the Titan supercomputer at Oak Ridge with uh, many thousands of GPUs uh, coupled to the CPUs of the supercomputer uh, was to model the way the first stars and galaxies were born and how their release of ultraviolet radiation burned its way outward to uh, sweep across the universe and affect the formation of the future generations of galaxies and stars. And to do that, we had to build a, a new type of computer code that for the first time would fully couple the uh, behavior of the radiation, the behavior of the atomic matter, the behavior of the dark matter under the action of gravity, and with gas dynamical pressure forces taken into account. Um, and there is a barrier to doing so computationally, which is that the radiation travels a lot faster than the matter. And when you break down to produce a kind of movie of the universe, so you're stepping forward through small changes so that it looks smooth when you run the movie, um, if things happen fast, you have to have very many steps. If they happen very slowly, then uh, it would be a waste of time to have many steps. And you can take big steps. Well, the radiation moves so fast and causes ionization so fast and far from its source that you have to take very tiny steps to follow it while the matter is kind of lumbering along, gravitationally collecting, uh, forming stars that then when they release radiation, uh, propagate the radiation uh, at close to the speed of light in some cases. So in order to make the mismatch of those times practical, we found a way to speed up the calculation of the radiation and the ionization by putting it onto the GPU accelerators. These NVIDIA GPU accelerators allowed us to speed up that calculation by a factor of 100 so that the slower process, which also has to proceed through thousands of steps, um, would keep up and they could march forward together. Uh, so there's a kind of race to um, get the story straight and make predictions and guide those observations. That's really the impact it's having is uh, fueling this uh, frenzy of research but also uh, guiding it uh, with predictions.